I'm Phil Good, and I'm running to be the next mayor of Prescott. I'm completing my fourth year as a Prescott City Councilman. Prior to that, I served two years on Prescott's Planning and Zoning Commission. As an active member of the Citizens Water Advocacy Group, I've served over four years on their Public Policy Committee studying responsible water resource management. My 30-year career in healthcare management convinced me that evidence-based decision-making is essential to effective management. I apply that principle to public policy and long-range planning for our city. My current position as Secretary Treasurer of the Central Yavapai Metropolitan Planning Organization and my prior position as a director for the Central Yavapai Hospital District give me a unique ability to see the big picture as we lead, plan, and manage the future of Prescott and our neighboring communities. Is growth good or bad for Prescott? That question doesn't have a simple yes or no answer. Growth happens to attractive, desirable communities like Prescott, and that's a good thing. But unchecked, poorly planned, poorly managed growth can overwhelm Prescott's ability to maintain our quality of life, which made us attractive in the first place. Do we want urban-like sprawl, traffic congestion, and gridlock? Do we want our necessary resources and public services to become overburdened and begin to deteriorate? Public safety response and access to necessary emergency and regular health care can become dangerously restricted. Employers considering providing needed goods and services may be reluctant to invest in such an unpredictable and risky landscape. Clearly, growth can be beneficial if an absorbable and sustainable growth rate is established, if public infrastructure, clean water, police and fire protection, healthcare capacity, economic investment from the private sector, and educational options are honestly examined and planned for. When each sector works together cooperatively and realizes that long-term sustainability is good, then everybody wins.